new duty hours. Handoffs are incredibly important. We facilitate these in the morning when we first arrive and in the afternoon when it's time to go. It contains pertinent... Hello? Oh, okay. I'm seeing that patient was discharged in 2010. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take a look. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, he's got a couple of really pertinent things in his past medical history. He had a spontaneous left pneumothorax in 1943 mm -hmm. and a cholecystectomy in 1989. All right. Everybody else is pretty stable. You should be able to handle it. Yeah. What about this active chest pain guy? Oh, that guy? If anything happens with him, just call the cardiology fellow and ask to start a nitro drip. Oh, and if he, if he spikes a fever, make sure you culture him too. Okay, I will. Hey, Abby, it's Eric. Uh, I'm going to be uh, a little bit late. Uh, any uh, Anything going on with my patients overnight? No, I didn't get any calls on your patients overnight. Everything was fine. No, nothing? All right, good, good. Any new pickups this morning? Yeah, you got one pickup. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the patient has an INR of like 20, and I just checked their blood pressure's in the 60s, so I think they probably should be going to the unit. Wow, that, that sounds pretty bad. Sounds like you've got it under control, though. All right, I'll, I'll see him when I get there. That's not the proper way to do sign-out. Earlier in the year, we really weren't that good at it. And as we progressed later in the year, yeah, we got really good at those sign-outs. Hey, Eddie, um, so I got 12 patients, okay? Three of them are in acute respiratory stress right now. Four of them are having chest pain. Uh, good luck, man. Any labs to follow up on? Anything? I don't know, man. Just, just read it. Come on. Yes. Oh, John. Hey, hey, Mariana. Hi. We, uh, we have a new admission. It's more like okay. 99th year of sepsis. You know, you know, it's a doctor just had a patient, so we have to get it, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, have you girls seen the latest Hollywood film? Which one? Oh, Dr. Desai! Wait a minute, you are Dr. Jogokar, Dr. Desai, you're Dr. Safi Kumar, and you're Dr. Amy Bahara. I'm in the wrong room. Sorry, guys. Uh, the interns are so stupid. <sighs> interns. interns. Let's get some chai. Yes. Hey. So, did you, did you see, did you find Dr. Desai? Um, what happened your baby? Oh, I, I just delivered. <laughs> it's really cute. Want to see it? I'm going to go pump. I have this new patient for you to see. Okay. It's a patient uh, of Dr. Thomas Holmes. Okay. Uh, it's from Ballard. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I drove all the way over to Ballard and I got the records for you, so don't worry about getting them faxed over. Okay. Uh, it's a guy who has this weird eye disease, so I actually... Uh, uh, drove all the way into Chicago to the Otho Clinic oh. and got the records from there too. So wow. don't worry about getting the records from okay. the Otho Clinic. Okay. The, um, also, uh, I was trying to find the next of kin, right? And they're uh, uh, all the way in North Carolina. Uh, I'll so, call them. No, 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 don't worry. I, already, I, yeah, I flew out to North Carolina. Yeah, I talked to them. Okay. Uh, uh, and they, they want to become palliative, okay. right? So we're going to have to get Dr. Priador on console. Well, like I always say, morphine, more fun. Dr. Priador. Hey, Diane. I have the best news. Really? Half our patients died today. Excellent. Three more are on morphine drips. Really? Yes. It's a good Friday. But don't worry about that. I already talked to Dr. Priador. He's already on consult. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Holmes wants to get surgery on consult. Okay, I'll do that. Dr. Corsan. Can you do that? Yeah, definitely. Are you sure? If, unless ahead. you're too busy, I can do that. I can no, do that. No, Brian, it's fine. No, I can no, do no. It. I already did the H and P. I talked to the patient. I put all the orders in. Are you Brian, sure you're okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, then we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to each other later. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Oh my goodness, Brian. He's so lazy. I'm Doctor Priador. Rhymes with Theodore. I see that your heart's not working. You can't breathe anymore and you appear to be in quite a bit of pain. How does that make you feel? <clears throat> Would you like some morphine for your pain? Hey Mike, can What's you up? help me decipher this? It's Dr. Corsan's note. Oh, good luck. Wait, it's sideways. No, no. Oh, I no actually... it's not. Does this say Katy Perry? CT scan? Is that a lambda? 
That does say Katy Perry. And what's this? A scavenger Kaukai. hunt? I think that says cut hair. Percent. Happy face? I have no idea. Yeah. Good luck. Damn rooster. I'll show him where the sun doesn't shine. I get too early for the moon. What? Yeah, this is Holmes. Dr. DeRoad. Yes. Yes, I know that patient well. Patient of mine for years. Yes. She's been a bad, bad girl. Bad, bad girl. Uh-huh. Yes. You think we can send her home today? Let's do that. And remember, she follows up with you. Uh, why won't this work? Uh, My kids are trying to call. Yeah, Karowski. My job here is done. Hello? Asma here. Uh, you want a beer? What? No, Asma here. Oh, wait, what? You smell my hair? No, Asma here. Oh, oh, no, this is not Samir. Are you looking for Samir? No, no, Asma here. Hey, Dan. Oh. And I have this new oh. patient for you uh, on the 10th floor. Uh -huh. One of Dr. Osterman's patients. Uh, looks like sepsis. You can just give him some cephapime and touch wood, he'll get better. I just saw your 95-year-old gentleman here with worsening scrotal edema over the last four days. Uh, on exam, his scrotum looks like a grapefruit, uh, literally. Um, so, I don't know what else you want to do for him. Did you check his immunization history? Uh, yeah, it's not up to date. Aha! Make sure he gets his Gardasil and influenza shot on the way out. Medical students, journals say HPV is on the rise in elderly males. Guaranteed to be on the shelf. Let's go to clinic so you can worship me there. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming to the present business meeting. First order of business, this is very, very important. I'd like to talk about AIDIT. It's first day of intern year, I'm pretty nervous. We have to do this AIDIT thing that Dr. Rhodes taught us about, and I'm not sure I have it down yet, so here we go. Yeah, Dr. Rhodes. A, A is acknowledge, okay. Um, sir, what's your name? Mr. Peterson, how are you today? Sir, you're drooling. Um, I introduced <laughs> Dr. Uh, Dr. Megan Ratterman, I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm one of the interns, um, residents. D, uh, yeah, Nurse, my back. Are you okay? Nurse. D, uh, duration. I'm only going to take 10 to 45 minutes of your time. Are you my nurse? I'm kind of new. No, I'm uh, Megan. E, explanation. And T, thank you. So we're just going to make you MPO tonight. We'll give you some IV fluids, and then you can have your procedure in the morning. You'll be all set to go, OK? Shove it, give me my Dilaudid. Thank you. That's not how you do eat it. Are there any questions? Eddie? Dr. Rose, what happened to your hand? I'm gonna take you to school, Dory. Ready? Oh! oh. Not at my house, Bill! And tell your residents to stop ordering 24-hour labs. I'm sick of it. Oh. My wrist! Oh. Okay. That's not how you play basketball. So I was playing in a basketball tournament uh, over the weekend and a bunch of big guys just kind of, you know, played real rough with me, just shoved me to the ground and I, I walked it off. Uh, but on that note, uh, I'd like to remind you all not to order 24-hour labs. Please, personal appeal, please do not order 24-hour labs. Lee? Quick something other than pizza for next month's resident business meeting. 